What's up everybody, it's Jeremy here from Ocean Bound, and I figured I'd talk about a session that I had the other day where I rode four foils back to back. I have too many foils and I just simply need to trim down the quiver. All of these are potentially on the chopping block, but I kind of have my favorites. I wanted to compare the MA-1000 with the new HA-680. I'm really curious on how the 580 compares to the 680. And then there's the MA-800. How does that fit into my quiver? So this is not really an intensive review. It's just a video of like notes that I took after that session. It was a flat water sesh at my home spot at Pleasure Bay right here in Boston. The wind was blowing low to mid 20s, you know, a little up and down in general, but like, let's just say averaging 20 to 25. I was using a four and a half meter strike V3 and it was chilly, it was a little choppy on one end of the bay, but you know, I, I really just wanted to feel how the foils go rail to rail, how they turn, jump, maybe how they get onto foil and their speed. I realize it's been four months since I've been on the MA-1000, a foil that's just totally dominated my entire previous year of sessions. I mean, all of 2023. So that's the first foil that I wanted to try today. I'm using the 180 stab with uh, my typical one and a half degree shims. Everything I'm riding at 10 in the mass track for full disclosure, I've always ridden the MA-1000 at eight in the mass track. So this is a little different, two centimeters more forward than what I'm used to. First impressions, it's easy. I got on foil with no issue. I feel like the MAs in general take a little more power to get up on foil, but I happen to have plenty of power this session, so that just wasn't a thing. This foil felt familiar and easy. Going rail to rail was super smooth, and I feel like it's playful at lower speeds. I'm not saying it has a low stall speed, but it likes to turn, and it doesn't mind doing it at the lower speeds of its spectrum. These MA foils like to be active, so when I ride them flat and approach lower speed, they tend to drop out early. That can happen doing a tack or a jibe, and you know, they just don't really have a good glide game. Other notes on the MA-1000 was on its jumping. I knew I liked the way this foil re-enters into the water when jumping, so I did a dozen or so jumps to kind of create a baseline for the day. It was nice and it has a nice and cushy landing, which is really nice. Both, you know, flat jumps and really like jumps where the foil kind of points into the water on re-entry. It re-engages quickly. And I can tell you that after trying all of the other foils for the day, the MA-1000 has the best pop out of the water. It could be because it's what I'm so used to from the last year, but it was a noticeable difference. So next up is the HA-680. My ultimate dilemma is do I keep the MA-1000 and the HA-680 or does the 680 replace the MA-1000. Right off the bat, it seems to have about the same amount of lift as the MA-1000 did, but I could also pump it up easier. Meaning like the MA-1000, you kind of have to muscle up. The HA, you can muscle up or you can use like a little more finesse. Today with a little pump, I was up and out. It wasn't a light wind sesh, so this is just really one data point. But from what I could tell, it was close to the same as the MA-1000 but possibly a little better. The stall speed is definitely lower. I went on a few glides and it just kept surprising me how it stays up when the MA-1000 I know would have dropped out. The turning was great. The MA-1000 felt really turning at lower speeds and it prefers to be moving back and forth. This one's different. It feels more nimble, which makes sense because it's a smaller foil, but it's like quicker and zippier. I could still do everything the MA-1000 could do, but it kind of felt like it was more more reactive. This thing can go faster and turn quicker, but I feel like it can still make it turn great at slower speeds. This foil also has like a noticeable up pump, which I've been digging because it kind of makes me feel like I can bounce from rail to rail. And I really, I really like the way that this foil acts. Jumping was fine. As I mentioned, the MA-1000 has the best pop, but I'm thinking that I can use the up pump with this foil to my advantage maybe to give me more pop. I just haven't really had a ton of jumping experience with it yet. 
As the re-entry goes, it's different. It enters into the water fine, but it re-engages lift differently. So, you know, a little less than, than the MA-1000. Sometimes you need to kind of give it a pump to stay on foil, or it just takes it a second. Its smaller size also makes the re-entry almost easier than the MA-1000, but that cushion just isn't really there. So as expected, it's different, but it's certainly not a deal breaker. So I was there at Pleasure Bay, and I was curious what the HA-580 would feel like right after the 680, so I took that one out. Now I'm pretty sure that the wind came down a little bit because I struggled more to get this one on the foil. I wanted so badly for this 580 to be so close to the 680 that I, I would get rid of the 680. More testing is needed, but I'm thinking I kind of need to keep them both. It does pump up on the foil, but it's just less forgiving than the 680. I could get it up, but I wasted a lot more energy. So going forward, you know, I'll be grabbing it when I have a certain amount of power. You could pump it up like the 680, but the lift was definitely less at lower speeds. But I'm not selling this 580, no way. I want to ride it whenever I can. I want to ride it with the dart, and big waves, and that's, that's all I think about. But this 680 has more range, so I think it stays as well. Everything else was to be expected. It had less glide than the 680, but turns better, more speed, maybe a little more playful. So then I brought the MA800 out for shits and giggles. It's been a while. I'm not really sure how many sessions I've had it when the wind is blowing like low 20s. This thing is just not fun to get on foil. I needed more speed, and I just didn't feel like I had a lot with the 4.5 in the these winds to muscle it up. You know, I could get it up, but you have to kind of keep pumping to build more and more speed to keep it on foil. And once up though, it was fast. It certainly acted like a littler version of the thousand, but not as turny. It does everything at more speed. So its turns are not as sharp or as quick as the MA-1000 could be which just seems more playful. I guess because you can kind of go slower and enjoy it more. When I was on this, it really felt like it sucked at going up winds, at least, you know, compared to the HAs. They could go up wind great, and this you seem to need to have more power to go up wind, but it wasn't like, you know, going up wind was generating more apparent wind. It was like it was working against me. But I do feel like this wasn't really a problem when I've ridden this thing super lit before. So I was considering saving this one because I figure it's a faster than the new HAs, and I could use that for racing. But now that I've seen the difference between these and the HAs, I'm not sure if I want to race with this one anymore just because of the upwind. Jumping was fine, smooth re-entry, but I was doing faster jumps versus more technical pops. Speed was the best that I could do that day. I think I had the best win during the end of this kind of mini session. I made a few decent speed runs. I topped out in 25 and a half miles per hour. On the 800, I went back for a fifth session after on the 680 to do some speed runs, and I could only hit 23.5 miles an hour. So the 800 is fast, and I think with more wind and the 140 tail, I could actually easily push that limit. But the question is, how fast can the small HAs go? One thing I'd like to add is that I thought the breach resistance built into the MAs would put them on top, but the new HAs, in my opinion, are pretty good when it comes to not exploding when you get to a breachy situation. Not saying that they're the same, but the new HAs are just much better than the V1 HAs. I'm thinking that has to do with the flatter middle section. For whatever it's worth, both new HAs are just a lot louder than the MAs in the water. I haven't sanded them down at all, I know my tail was making noise too, but this was noticeably different with the HAs. So what did I truly learn from this? What are my takeaways? Here's a quick recap. The MA-1000 has the most pop. The 680 has decent lift, basically the same as the MA-1000, but you can pump it up too. The 680 has a better glut. Rail to rail was decent on both, slightly different. I prefer the 680 right now, but the 1000 cars really nicely at those slower stall speeds. The HA580 doesn't have the same lift as the 680 to be expected, but I think I'm going to be keeping the 680, so I'll do another back to back with the 580 in that soon, you know, in lighter winds with bigger wings. The MA800 is fast. It's not as turny as I thought because it needs speed, and I'm personally not used to pushing like really hard carves at those speeds. And the new HAs are just noticeably different at going up wind than the MA800. So I think I'm kind of good to get rid of the MA1000, but I need at least one more sesh with them both. Maybe it's just a proper goodbye sesh that I need. And the MA800, it's a hard decision to sell that one. I think I'm gonna keep it for now, but I'm on the fence. So let's see how fast we can get that 580 to go. And all right, that's plenty of thoughts. 
from this like you know afternoon of switching foils certainly not crazy scientific I have so many things to try new combos new stabs more back-to-backs different conditions fun stuff so if you want to see some more of my videos and you haven't done so already please consider clicking that subscribe button drop me a comment let me know if you agree or disagree with any of this I'd love to hear it we all have our own opinions and with that I hope all of you are doing well out there I'll see you soon on the flip and I wish you all an awesome day later